Good evening, everyone. Today we are going to study about coarse networking. This is our first session on coarse networking. Coarse networking provides us the LMS, ePortfolio, and social network. The first session. In this first session, we are going to study about the login and sign up options available on this portal. If you already have an account, you can directly go to login button and by using your username and password, you can log into the system. If you do not have the social network account, then you need to sign up. Click on the sign up. Then create your account by filling up this fields: first name, last name, email address, etc. and so on. Now I already have my account on Coast Networking, so I didn't. I just have to go to this user ID. I put my user ID and then password to enter into the system. When you click on login, you actually enter into the system. After authentication, after authentication. Right? Once you enter into the system, you can find on a screen there are different menus available. Here you can see the profile page of your course networking page. Where are there? There are there different sections. The first section that we have on profile page is badges. The badges are nothing but the certificates obtained by you through different activities in the course. The next section is about transcripts, certificates, and folders. Here, you can create your folders related to transcripts, any certificates, any awards, any recognition or appreciation that you have, or anything that you want to share. This. One more important point about these transcripts, certificates, and folders is that if you want to hide something from the users. And make it private. You can do that with the help of private, making the folder private. Otherwise, by default, the folders are hot. The next section is recommendation and compliments. Here, you will receive any recommendations given by or compliments given by the other people who are following. The next section is about the about you. Here you have to provide your introduction. You have to provide the basic information about your email ID, secondary email ID, primary language, sender, country, etc. You can also create new sections apart from the available sections by clicking on the new section again. So here for your example, I have created the paper publication section where I have uploaded all the papers that I have published. The next section is about find me, wherein you can view all the social media account links, your website, office website. Then below that you will find following the people who are actually following you on this post. Next is followers. These are all you can get the information of all the followers. In social engagement section, you can find the profile pictures of all the people who are actually following you. This is the first page, first page of your page, and the next by clicking on this circle. We will find the next page. Okay. Whatever the things that you do in course networking gets accumulated on the profile page. This is my current post, a recent post, where I have asked in one of my group that is created for by me for second year computer engineering student in data structure subject. For 2017 and 18 months. 
I asked them a question and to the reply to the question answers given by the students can be seen below the section and I can click to check all the reflections that are there on these questions by going through all these answers a teacher has the right to select the best answer given by a student by clicking on the best link if the faculty wants to reflect to the students answers we can click here on reflect and uh, give us give us our reply like this there are many many things that i have uploaded and all those things are accumulated on the profile page. so that's it for today